hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's down here with another video and today i want to do a comparison of the new dior um face and body powder um i have the shade 5n and i have the shade 6n i already did like my first initial review on this powder but i use shade 6 and the purpose of this video is to kind of help somebody out if they're confused on what shade to pick up um okay y'all with these try not to drop them because yesterday i dropped this one which is shade five and as you see it will not stay flat down in the pan so just try not to drop five in and this is shade six as you can see shade six is a little bit warmer than shade five hopefully the camera is picking it up it's just a tad bit warmer okay so what i think i'm going to do is put shade five on the right side of my face and then shade six on the left side i already have foundation on so i'm gonna just put concealer on the concealer i'm using today is the chanel um concealer and i think this is the shade 91 this is a little light but i'll make it work Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go in with shade uh, five, like I said, on the right side of my face. Third thing is like, when you put it on the brush, hardly anything shows up. First, when I um, was reading a little bit about these powders before they was released, they were saying that this could, um, depending on what shade, it could be used as a bronzer. And then at first I was like, I don't know how you would use this as a bronzer being that it's translucent. But I noticed yesterday when I wore shade six all day, Shade 6 definitely warms up your complexion. It warmed up my foundation. Not a lot, but just like a tad bit. Put some on my brush, and then I'm going to set underneath my under eye and all over my face with this powder. And neither one of these shades I feel like would be my ideal shade to use underneath my eye, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use these two. Okay, y'all, this is what my face look like um, after letting the powder sit on my face for a few hours. I have six in on the left side of my face and I have five in on the right side. Right now, they're pretty much looking the same as far as like the same shade. One side is not looking a little too warm, warmer than the other. So um, I'm going to wear it for a couple hours, even though I was not planning on wearing, doing like a wear test, but I am just for the sake of the video to really help y'all out with which shade to pick up so i'll be back in a couple hours okay y'all i'm back this is what my face look like i have shade five on the right side of my face and i have shade six on the left side um like shade six is just a tad bit warmer it's not even really that noticeable i don't know how i was looking on camera this is just a tad bit warmer so i don't know which one i would pick because I, I honestly i like both of them how to really do live up to all the claims as far as like um mattifying blurring your skin you don't have to worry about your pores looking too visible and this powder does not settle into like fine lines or like the smile lines around your mouth or certain areas where you might have smile lines that you don't have to worry about that one of the claims about this powder is that you could use it as a bronzer and like i mentioned earlier i was hesitant like i didn't really believe that you could and that this is a translu translucent powder but depending on the shades you get, this will definitely warm up your foundation to look like you have an actual bronzer on. Um, like I said, it's not shade six is not really looking too warm in, on camera, but in person, it's a tad bit warmer than shade five. I feel like these are the same shade. It's just maybe the undertone to this is a little bit warmer. And I know they say they all neutral, but clearly you can see this is a little warmer. Let me, let me open this up for y'all. 
crispy and shade six is definitely just a tad bit warmer so if you use me as a shade reference it really doesn't matter you could pick any shade um shade five or shade six just whichever one you want um i still haven't figured out what shade i'm going to get from my under eye area but both of these i cannot i can use these as a under eye powder but as you see it's not going to give me a brightening effect but i like this powder like i highly 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 recommend y'all go out and pick this up and try it out especially if you have oily skin see this definitely kept my face matte throughout the day unsure on which shade to get as you see either one will work so yeah that's basically it for today so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye